I love how it has a nice outer crust and then the inside looks so fluffy. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm super excited to try this recipe. I've actually waited so long to make it because I wanted to do it together, but I'm gonna show you, it's simple. I've seen it done all over Instagram and we have our stuff. Um, one of the things that I just had to wait for was the egg white powder to come in the mail. Um, I just got this on Amazon and I'll leave it linked in the description below so you know exactly what I'm using. So we have our egg white powder. Now we have our sweetener. This is just powdered sweetener. We're just literally pouring everything right into the bowl. We have our baking powder and our salt and that's it. Those are literally all the ingredients besides our water that you're going to need for this bread. And now our water. And now let's go ahead and mix. So I started making a mess in this bowl, so I'm gonna transfer it onto this big bowl so that we have more room for this to fluff up. Okay, so they're like baby peaks. We're gonna go with it, guys. We've been going at this for 12 minutes now, but I think we're good. Um, we have our little ba our bread loaf and we have some parchment. So I'm just gonna use parchment, just spray it with a little avocado oil just to make sure it doesn't stick. And now let's just go ahead and pour our batter in. Ooh, looks so good. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to make this forever, so yay, let's see. So our bread batter is all ready. Now just make sure that your oven's preheated to 325. Ours is ready to go, so let's get it in. We're gonna do about 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you how crazy this bread's about to look. We'll be back for you. So I want you guys to see how beautiful this looks, and I know it's a little hard to see, but what we're gonna do is turn it off. Do not, you cannot open the door to your oven or it will flatten, okay? So we're just off and we're gonna let it sit in there for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna pull it out. Oh my God, I'm so excited to cut into this. So I let the bread cool for about 30 minutes and it did deflate, but I'm actually really happy with the height that it kept because look at this. What do you guys think of this? I mean, what's your honest opinion? This is obviously we're making this together for the first time. I'm actually really happy about it. We're gonna cut into it. We're gonna see, we're gonna see the inside. But let me give you a 360 view of this. Gorgeous little loaf. Ooh, okay. Let's keep it going. I love how it has a nice outer crust and then the inside looks so fluffy. Oh my gosh, okay. I think they're perfect. Let's just, I'm about to make a sandwich with this. We're gonna put this bread to the test, guys. So we're gonna make a really quick sandwich because that's one of the things that I truly miss is just a sandwich. Like sometimes that's really all I want or like even a peanut butter and jelly but since I haven't had lunch, I'm about to make a sandwich. Tomato. Jalapenos. Now we cover. Guys, do you see this sandwich? Okay, so I am so happy with the way this turned out. Like, I think it has the fluffiness from bread. It looks like bread, feels like bread. So I'm just ready to now taste it. <laughs> Moment of truth. It's crazy, but it has the texture of bread. 
Okay, the softness of the bread, like the texture of the bread, reminds me of kind of like the Wonder Bread. How many of you remember that Wonder Bread with the little bubbles? Like, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? It really reminds me of that. And especially with everything going on here, I swear you can't even tell a difference. The only other thing that I'd love to try is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but guys, for a turkey sandwich, this is, this is it. And it's like zero carbs and like probably super low in calories. I mean, it's a great bread substitute. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed making this bread with me. It was like a trial. I didn't know what to expect. I know that a lot of people have made it, but I haven't heard reviews. I just see like the big bread. So I have to say it's worth, it's worth making it. It's gonna be a lot easier if you make it with the stand mixer, but give it a try, come back, comment down below, let everyone else know like how it turned out for you and how you're using it. Um, I'm gonna try a few different recipes, give me some ideas. I was thinking like French toast. There are other variations of this recipe where like people make like Hawaiian bread and like donuts and like so many different things, it's crazy. Um, so comment down below and let me know like what you would want me to, to kind of try because we could test it together. Um, Overall, I'm so happy about this. I know you guys will be too. Um, I'll leave the recipe in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, share my channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle, or maybe just trying to make like healthier choices in their life. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.